In this video, I show how to use Fervella with a simple example. First, I will tell you what is Fervella. After, I will explain which are the required tools and we finish with an example. Fervella is developed in Asti Technalia and is a bioeconomic simulation model which describes the whole fishery system. It allows evaluating the bioeconomic performance of management strategies before they are put in place. And it's built under a management strategy evaluation framework in R using FLR libraries. The operating system must be Linux or Windows. The R version is 310 and it must be used with 32 bytes. The required FLR packages are FL Core and FL Fleet, but depending on the case study, more can be required. FLBEA contains some plot functions that require ddplot2 and plur installed. The packages can be downloaded from the GitHub repository or from the FLBEA webpage, where you can find more documentation and examples. I use RStudio to run a very simple example that you can download it from the FLBEA webpage. I use smart conditioning to create FLBEA input objects, and I run a projection until 2025. The operating model has a growth model of Beverton and Holt autoregressive, but I show how to change it to a segmented regression. The management procedure assumes perfect observation and no assessment, and I test different harvest control rules. ISIS harvest control rule, fixed effort, and annual tag. The development of FLBEA has been funded by the Basque Government, the Commission of the European Communities, and the European Fisheries Fund. If you have more questions, you can write to the mailing list of FLR or FLBEA. And now let's see the example. Here we have the R code and a folder called data with all the input data necessary to run the simulations. All of them are CSV files and contain similar format. Let's open the first, that is the weight of stock 1, with the first column is age from 1 to 12, year from 1990 to 2009, historic data, unit is unique, season all, area is unique, iterations from 1 to 3, and the data, that is the value of weight at age. Not all of them have the same format. For example, in the file called params, the first column is called param and it has three different parameters, A, B, C, which are the parameters of the stock recruitment relationship that we define in the simulation. This data must go from 1990 to 2025, which is the last year of the simulation. And now let's see the code. First thing I will do is to change the working directory to source file location and as you see this part everything is commented and is the description of every single line that is in the code. We start loading the libraries and we define the simulation parameters related to its time that are described above. We set the names, age, and dimensions. These are the names. And we must be careful that if we change the name of the fleet and we call it FL2, for example, then here when we define the material of FL2, here also we should change it to FL2 and also here and in the rest of the code. We also define the minimum and maximum age of the stock and the unit. And here in section 5 is where we create the first input object that is called BIOLS. With the function called uh, plot.BIOLS, we can, we can see with the name of the stock. And here we can see all the input data related with the BIOLS object, like abundance at age, weight, 
fecundity, mortality, spawning, recruitment, and stock spawning biomass. Now in section 6, we generate the fleet object and we also call to the plot function in order to check that all the data were fine. Now we create the stock recruitment object, which is a Feverton Holt autoregressive model. Now we create the object with the advice and we said we say here that there, there is not indices in the in the model. We give the simulation time. We define age structure population growth as a growth model. We assume simple mixed fisheries behavior model for the effort model and assume Cobb Douglas age for the catch model. And we also say that we are not interested on taking into account these cards. In the advice control we define ISIS harvest control rule and the reference point. In the assess control we say that there is no assessment. The observation control we say we assume perfect observation. Covars and biomass dynamics are null and also covars control. And now we save all the input objects in a file called input with the, and the name of the simulation. And now we can uh, run Ethelbeya. And now let's see the results. If we put, uh, if we write names as zero, here we see that we have Beol's object, fleets object, covars, advice, stocks, indices, fleets control. These are the output of the, of the results. But if we want to see it in a more friendly way, then these functions help us to see, for example, in a data frame format. These are the functions to plot the results. And we see, for example, how the abundance is increasing in the, in the projection. Or, and we can also see how are the catches until 2025. And if we want to change, for example, the mortality rate, then we use to, from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4, then we just need to write this in the code and to run again the simulations, but with the new BIOLS uh, object that is called BIOLS modified M, mod M. If we want to change the stock recruitment relationship, then we just need to estimate the parameters. Then we change the name of the, of the parameters and the value of the previous model. And we change the name. And then here also, where we call it to the stock recruitment object, then we also change the name and the rest we put the same. 
and then we run a new simulation. If we want to modify the FMSY value of the ISIS harvest control rule, then we just need to modify the advice control object. In this case, we will change it to 0 0.4. And if you want to change the fleet's dynamic and assume fixed effort, then you only need to change the fleet's control and say that the effort model is fixed effort. And if what you want is to change the harvest control rule to annual tag, then you need to change the advice control and also in the input data of FLBella. Okay, and this was the last example. Now you can see on the PDFs all the results and compare between them. I hope that this uh, video was useful for you to start working with FLBEA. Thank you very much.